There we go. All right, so it is the Sunto S-U-U-N-T-O Core Glacier Gray watch. Uh, it's an ABC watch, which essentially just means altitude, barometer, and compass. Well, altitude, not really. Altimeter, I guess, is the technical term. So I'll be taking this on my little hike here at Frontenac State Park and uh, just kind of go over some of the things right now just to kind of get the basics so that when I show it on my wrist, I can actually, you know, you can see what it is. So you see the time set at 1052. It is Sunday, March 6th, 2016. Uh, there's a couple little things here. I don't know if you can see up close uh, three of the different things it says. The first thing it shows here is time and then altimeter and barometer and compass. So on this, on this face, on the time, it has a bunch of different things. It shows the date on the bottom. Then you can switch it to seconds. Then you can switch it to a different time zone, whatever you have preset. In this case, I'm in central, so I have it preset to eastern, just for no reason. There is sunrise, sunset. Now, I have this set at 24 hours. So sunrise today was 6.38 a.m., which is 06.38, whatever. And the sunset is at 18.10, you know, which basically 6.10. I don't know my, why my phone's not focusing very well here, but... And then you have a you know a stopwatch, and then you have a countdown, which is pretty cool. So that's, and then you have a blank screen if you don't want to see anything else. In the next screen, right here, I have it at the barometer. Now, the barometric pressure, I don't really need to see that right now. However, you can see it is it's fallen. Uh, it's actually you know and then leveled off. But what I'll do is I'll I, in in this mode, you can see the temperature is it says 68 degrees. It's actually cooler than that. It's probably about 48, but since it's been on my wrist the entire drive down here, it um, it it, it you know it doesn't measure right. So it'll take about 10, 15 minutes to get to the right reading. Well, I'll have it I'll have it hanging off from a lanyard here, and we'll see what happens. There, and it has a log. You can log different things, which I don't know what the hell. I have my reference set at 11, 22 feet, so. That actually means that the altitude right here is 1,122 feet. And I can verify that by going over here and checking right here. I have my watch here. I put my watch on my lanyard and um, see if it gets the correct temperature. Should be about 50, 54, 53. Yep, 55 degrees. It's pretty good. Good. Get it all set here. You can see there's the Mississippi River right there. There's the trail. Way back there is the little, I don't know, I guess you call it the little sign or whatever. You can see up there. Anyways, take a reading on the watch. Now we're at 814 feet, 53 degrees. Now let's check the um, heading. So that's the Mississippi River. That should be east. I mean, that's about as east as it gets where we're at. Across that river is Wisconsin. So as I go like this, like this, let's see. Okay. It says it's northeast, so maybe, well, there you go, that's east. So the river goes south, south, southeast, yep. Yeah. There's the river going that way. And then it also goes north. So let's see, this trail is almost exactly north, let's see. Yep, so you can see right here, I don't know if you can see, right there where my thumb shadow is, not focusing in very good here. Right where my thumb shadow is right there. Yeah, I do want to start this compass, so. Right where my thumb shadow is, you can see right there, there's a little thin line. Then there's a double line there. That's the actual bearing. So 
now it's on directly north, which makes sense because that's where we're at. So it works pretty good, man. I'm very pleased with this watch. Time 11.44, 55 degrees, which let me check my phone. I'll check the phone for the temperature. Well, I'm using my phone, that doesn't make sense. But I think it's right. Oh, great, now I check the watch. And uh, we're down to 735 feet. It's 47 degrees, which it is accurate. It's 47 degrees here in Frontenac. There's the Mississippi River. Right. Made it turn around to the switchback. I'm on the Upper Bluffs Trail now. You can see there's the Mississippi River. Um, everything's going good. I switched my watch on to the, uh, on my wrist. And see, it is now at 1161, so 1,161, 1,165 feet. It says 81 degrees because it's on my wrist. It's 1255. The watch is working excellent. Just, it's surpassing what I thought it would do. Um, problem. Uh, the real star of the show though, the thing that worked the best is the watch. The watch worked fantastic. I mean, you can't really see it. You can't really see the face or whatever, but it uh, worked great. It, it switches between altimeter and barometer. Uh, I was stuck on altimeter uh, the entire time I was going up and down. It's about a 400, 400 foot elevation difference and temperature was accurate. Compass was accurate. Uh, everything was great. It got a little wet when I was, you know, washing my hands from all the mud. 